You can put on restrictions. Is it going to do any good? I doubt it. That's just the way it is. Gun owners uh, told Channel 11 Jillian Hartman that they don't think so. In fact, gun shops are expecting gun sales to rise. Well, gun sales have been through the roof during this pandemic, but they are expected to spike again after President Joe Biden's speech today on gun control. Anytime there is uh, talk of gun control in the news, there is a major increase in gun sales. Customers were coming in and out of John Brown's armory in Rochester today after President Joe Biden announced executive actions on stricter gun laws. He talked about putting an end to ghost guns, issuing a national red flag law, and addressing gun trafficking. But after watching part of the speech, the shop's manager says this is only going to make people want to buy more guns. Everybody wants a gun. Everybody wants to protect themselves. People are afraid they're going to take them away. Between the pandemic, civil unrest, and the election, Brian Barker says it's been hard to keep guns on the shelves. They come and go so fast. How often is your inventory changing? Every day. Changes every day. Barker says there's a short supply on popular guns like small revolvers and home defense shotguns, and prices have skyrocketed. A gun that used to cost $300 probably costs about $900 now. So, triple in price. But that didn't stop this customer from buying a new gun today. But I buy one to protect myself and my family. There's also a shortage on ammunition and for the first time ever, Barker says they had to import ammo. We imported two pallets of nine millimeter from Bosnia. Um, took a month for us to get it. That's that's unusual for us. Never done that before for a small mom and pop store to do something like that. Very unusual. But after today's speech from the president, Barker says he expects more people running out to get a gun over the coming days and weeks. Now, if you're planning to buy a gun, the manager here says folks have to be patient and can't be too picky right now due to limited inventory. Reporting in Rochester, I'm Jillian Hartman, Channel 11.